Hi, I'm Debbie. I'm a stop motion animator and 2D animator here at FizzBuzz. And this is my uh, DVD collection and a couple of Blu-rays. <laughs> Mostly cartoons, old movies. I also like musicals, so I collect them. Also, I like collecting bits and pieces of my childhood. So I love collecting shorts, the animation show of shows, and they have so many different kinds of animation. Many of these are series or movie features. Uh, more often than not, we don't hear about the shorts as much, especially before Pixar popularized putting shorts before a feature screening. I mean, brought that back. And my favorite one here is uh, Frederick Box, yeah, uh, the man who planted trees. A lot of people call them, you know, Kenkoi or Bambata. It's not really just for kids. So sometimes I show them father and daughter and uh, to show to people that it's not just for kids. And it always, almost always makes people shed a tear. Of course, adult themed cartoons are also <laughs> on my collection. <laughs> But we might get demonetized. Yes, kidding, you. Yeah, I, I love collecting DVDs. When I was a kid, I used to uh, collect VHS tapes. And when we watched cartoons, and if I wasn't around to watch it, uh, we would record them and then watch it over and over again. So. I think that's where it began. <laughs> the beauty of television is you get to see reruns. So uh, very fortunate that I've seen like Popeye that was made since the 1920s, 1930s, and we can still rewatch them. So those are the shows that my mom used to watch. Even she appreciates, and I show it to my nieces and nephews, and they still love them. So that's good. That means it's a classic. I mean, nowadays it's mostly streaming, but I really love listening to audio commentaries and the special features that many DVDs have. You get to hear words from the you know, writers or the directors or the animators. These are made since the 1900s, so over a hundred years old. Bray Cartoon, Bray Studios, the most prolific uh, animation producer, John Randolph Bray and his works, as well as his, you know, the people he hires. Out of the Inkwell, Fleischer Studio, early stuff, Cartoon Roots. One of my favorite ones is UPA, the United Productions of America. The pioneers of Cartoon Modern, which is the animation counterpart of modern art for cartoons. And so there was an era where they were tired of the Disney style Everyone copied Disney in the 40s, 50s, and they wanted to veer away from that. And if you notice, in, uh, there was a trend during that time that uh, the main characters are talking animals. So they wanted to steer away from that and go to humans, variety of different styles. So very important era. Looney Tunes for sure. Uh, I also teach part-time in school and I bring these with me. So I show them uh, the episodes some of the, you know, what makes them good, different art directors, animation directors in Looney Tunes. So Warner Brothers hired a lot of really good animation directors like Chuck Jones, Tex Avery. So they have a very good collection. They even have eras during the 1940s, 1950s, which is during World War II propaganda animation. So very interesting. Private snafu. They even had uh, authors. I think you know him more as Dr. Seuss. Who, uh, who actually worked for propaganda uh, war films in the 1940s. Uh, this one's a very important documentary on animation, Waking Sleeping Beauty. It's also a little biased towards Disney. <laughs> very anti-DreamWorks guy. <laughs> um, but you get to know more and you get to see the Disney renaissance of the 1980s from who framed Roger Rabbit onwards. And that's why Disney is back to his strength. So I don't like the remakes as much. <laughs> um, yeah, so my collection. Yes, this one. Very bad. They're all like copies of famous films. I don't know if you can see them. Yes. Yes. 
<laughs> yes, if they're famous, they make them. See, there's Puss in Boots, the true story of Puss in Boots, but you know it's not. If you look at, if you look closer, it's not. The animation's not very good. And my favorite one, because it's the worst of them all, is Life's a Jungle. So I, I've already shown a couple of our animators this. It's really bad. Another really bad one is this one. Titanic, the animated movie. So this is uh, Italian. It's popularized by the guy with glasses. And then it's so bad that there's even a rapping dog. I'm so happy that I saw this in a secondhand store. I like buying secondhand stuff because, you know, one man's trash is another man's DVD collection. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, so it's so bad it's good. I mean, you know, it's not good, but it's good to own <laughs> and show. Like what not to do. What not to do. Because <laughs> you learn from it. Officially started collecting maybe 2010. Or like whenever I travel somewhere, I go to a DVD store. Like Singapore, I go to their DVD store. Oh, they're actually disappearing now. <laughs> but recently I went to uh, UK and I found some very interesting ones. Like Wacky Races. Second hand, second hand stores. So the complete series of Wacky Races. I'm curious to find different uh, types of animation as well. A complete DVD collection of the stop motion animation of Paddington Bear. So I'm kind of curious. And considering we do stop motion here, uh, there's a lot of stop motion animation in UK. Artman Studios, Wallace and Gromit, Bob the Builder, uh, and many more. Uh, when I was in Canada, I, I joined the Disney Movie Rewards Club. They had this monthly thing if you collect and then you get points. And if you reach enough points, you can get free tickets for a tour inside the Disney backlot of uh, the so animation studio. I saved, <laughs> but I, I didn't make it. <laughs> I'm not that big. <laughs> and it also depends on the budget. <laughs> Chances are, I think DVD stores are closing. So these are getting outdated. I actually, uh, when my Blu-ray DVD player broke. But the good thing is you can play you can play them on PlayStation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So and your computer if you have a CD reader. Yeah, so these are getting outdated, I understand. But it's something that I, I can be proud of that I have and stuff that I belonged in my childhood and I can capture and watch the things that made me smile as a kid. Not just for myself, I wanna share them to the people who don't know about them and would like to know more about them. So yeah, that's it. <laughs> 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 so tell, tell us about your collection. 